An EU delegation has visited a mass grave in the Ukrainian town of Bucha near Kiev amid accusations that Russian forces killed civilians in the area. Now, the European Commission's President Ursula von der Leyen expressed sorrow for the dead and blamed, quote, Putin's army. The unthinkable has happened here. We have seen the cruel face of um, Putin's army. Here in Bucha, we saw our humanity being shattered. And it is... The whole world is mourning with the people of Bucha. It was the EU delegation's first visit to Ukraine since the war erupted in February. Russian troops had left Bucha amid an announcement by Moscow that it was redirecting forces to the fight for the Donbass, where Russia has recognized the republics of Lugansk and Donetsk as independent countries. Within days of the Russian military's departure from Bucha, Ukrainian National Guard soldiers entered the town and lodged the war crimes accusations against Moscow. We heard from the co-director of the International Action Center anti-war group Sarah Flounders, who says that no matter who is to blame for the killings, only one narrative is allowed in the Western media. The big difference is that this war and each of the levels of war propaganda are to impose uh, devastating sanctions on Russia that will impact all of Europe. And so only one story is allowed. And the media is completely directed in the West, and any other story is completely excluded. Uh, Russia demanded the right that the facts be presented to the UN Security Council. That was refused. None of these facts have been presented about Bucha or the photos or the evidence to any legitimate investigative body. Even the Pentagon has not reviewed these photos. Forensic uh, experts uh, who certainly note that uh, bodies that have been on the ground four days and more uh, are, look entirely different, including bound hands, uh, than those that are appearing in photos, who certainly appear very recently dead within less than 24 hours. So there are many, many questions about what happened in Bucha who was killed, and who killed them. And none of this has come forth as evidence, and yet the media is more than willing to run with it.